welcome back to photoshop have a great day to all i hope you all watched photoshop video section 1 if not kindly watch fully i gave the link of section 1 in this video description also now just we'll have a quick look on section 1 and continue the section 2 uh, in this section 1 we saw about the chapter 1 exploring the interface the content that's these three we saw already and we'll see demo on photoshop window today first we saw what is photoshop and we learn what can i do in photoshop also yes yes and in this slide i informed I will tell the difference between JPEG and GIF. This is the GIF image, right? GIF, later like that. So, when come to this point, the expansion of JPEG is Joint Photographic Expert Group and GIF means Graphic Interchange Format. In JPEG, the image, we cannot see any movement. Okay, but in this GIF is the bitmap image format and support for animation. That means some movement will be there. Now, yes, you are clear. And we saw about export photo uh, shop interface. Yes. And we saw about this one like a menu bar and then option bar and toolbox yes windows that is uh, document window and color panel adjustment panel and layer panel fine now let us go for the next section that is in today's section we are going to see in detail about this screen only okay first thing is a menu bar this menu bar Yes, this is a menu bar, right? Yeah. So, this menu bar is at the top of the screen. See, this is a menu bar, you all know. The menu bar contains all the main functions. See, these are the main functions. So, totally, this menu bar contains 6 plus 5, that's 11 main functions. Is it clear? Next is option bar. This comes below the menu bar, you all know. So, uh, in toolbox, okay, we selected the text tool. So, the options like a font, here, see here, this is a font. And here is a size and alignment, left alignment, a center and then right alignment. Alignment is uh, related to the text box. In option bar, the important point we need to notice is the option bar display options for currently selected tool from the toolbox. So, here we selected is the text tool. Okay. Uh, next comes is the tool panel. We can find a different tool for uh, working on the image. So, this is the tool box you know. First thing you need to notice is the switch button see see the double uh, uh, this arrow this is the switch button right this view of tool we call it as a double column layout see this is the first column and see the second column so we'll be having to so we call it as a double column layout so we call um, we need to click on the switch tool to switch out to a single column or double column so once we click this it will uh, switch to the single column see here this one we call it as a single column right so single column and this is the double column layout this is the important thing you want to notice in this next is the hidden tool and flyout tools whenever you see a tool see uh, whenever you see a tool in the tool panel with a small arrow see here at the bottom right of this icon, it means there are additional tools behind it waiting to select and if you right click on 
them or hold the mouse button on one of these tools, the flyout tool will appear showing you the additional tool like this. Fine? Yes. So these are the flyout tools or flyout may know we can call it as. Next thing is the panel. So already you know we will be having three. So this panel uh, give access to all kind of commands and options for working on your image. So three panel. So color panel, adjustment panel and layer panel. Fine. So next comes to the document window. See the largest. This one see here. The largest and most obvious interface element in Photoshop is the document window. This document window is where you view your image and where you do all your editing works here. This place only, right? Uh, the document window in Photoshop does more than simply displaying an image. It also tells us quite a few information about this image. See here, here tulip image, right? This information is here in detail. See here, the same thing I displayed here also. So we, uh, we have tulip image. We selected this. So first thing is the name of the image. The name is tulip. Dot jpeg. First thing, the tulip is the name of the image. That jpg, we can call it as a jpeg also. The expansion is join photographic expert group fine next thing is this 33.3 is a zoom that is current zoom level okay see here it will be noticed i'll explain that in the demo and next come is a color mode rgb red green and blue and this one is eight that's a current bit depth okay fine so uh, theory part is over we will move on to the demo now. Just I will select. Already I installed the Photoshop. Just in the search I will type Photoshop. Is Adobe Photoshop CS6. I will close this. Just yes. Just few minutes. Yes come on. Yeah, fine. Now, yes, this is the first screen you will see in Photoshop. Suppose if your screen is like this, wait, just I'll remove this things and all. Band option, I don't want tools, right? Suppose your screen is like this, don't get panic. Just move to the menu bar. This is the menu bar, right? Uh, click the window main function. Then select what are the things you need. First, toolbox. Yes, fine. And second, I need option. Yes, fine. Uh, next comes three layers. First is the color. See here, the shortcut key is F6. So color. Next thing is the adjustment. Panel fine is there. And then we need a layer panel. So shortcut key is F7. Yes, fine. Now you all clear about the menu bar, option bar. Now then toolbox. Yes, in toolbox we saw about the flyout tools. See for example, uh, we saw the first one. Now see uh, here okay i am clicking the select that is a laser tool which is in the tool panel the fly out menus appears giving access to first one is the that's the laser tool second one polygon laser tool and magic laser tool okay similarly move your mouse cursor over to the name of the tool you want then release see here release means your mouse button will be selected it okay so click and hold the other tools like this way in the tool panel to see all the tools okay available to us in uh, photoshop cs6 so totally see left side will be having 33 tools like this you can see in uh, right side will be having 32 tools 
here left side 33 and here 32 totally 65 tools see like this 65 tools you can find in photoshop cs6 is fine next comes to the setting up a new document so click on the file menu and select the new option right yes the new dialog box get opened wow the new dialog box have many options see here so many options are there right for example if you make a greeting card for birthday or Diwali, New Year, Pongal or wedding day, whatever may be, you can set the height and width of the greeting card as per the required you need, right? Yes. So, see here you can change the width and here you can change, see, suppose 18 and here I need a 12. Yes, I change 12. Yes, so we can set the width and height. See whether you need in inches or pixel. So everything you can do it here. So see the resolution here, right? It specifies the clarity of the image. If the resolution is high, okay, then the size of the image file will be high. And this high resolution image have better picture quality. See here, you can change this also suppose uh, i need 29 fine so this rgb color mode so here you can change it and bit okay so we'll be having burn 8 and 1632 we selected 18 fine you can also set the color this background color for your document from this uh, background content option see here so background color so whether you need transparent or some other color just i selected the white fine now after this changes you can give okay yeah fine so this is the document new document we open and next this is the first thing then second one how to open an image in photoshop I have one image in desktop just I will show you just I'll go to the file okay file and then you have to click on open now choose the image that you need I store in the desktop so I'll select this desktop and I have I will select this if you uh, copied in any of the drive see here you click on the PC and drive will be there you can select so now I'll move to the desktop so here my image is there as Gulu festival so I'll select this and I'll give open is fine see here right now you can see the information about the image here see this one okay Gulu festival this is the document and this one is the image what we open now so here first thing is the name of the document the golu festival and second thing is the dot jpg i said no graphical that is joint photographic uh, export group the dot jpg and 25 was the current zoom level see here if you noticed here is the 25 just I'll change it as 30. Just move the mouse, uh, sorry, cursor and press enter. See, now that zoom level is 30. Fine. And here, a default that we selected as 8 bit. So, all the information about this image will be there. Fine. I hope the concept in first chapter is very clear. Yes, now, yeah. Just few questions to test your knowledge in chapter 1. Just try to answer this. First, photo, <coughs> Photoshop is an Dash software. Second, Dash specifies the clarity of the image. Third, Dash contains all the image, that is all the menu bar of Adobe Photoshop. And fourth, 
dash provides option for the currently selected tool and fifth the largest interface element in photoshop is dash just five percent okay we come to end of this section we will meet on next section new chapter common editing skills thank you be safe be happy bye bye